Hi guys, Mark from Burton Bibles here, just bringing you a little quick video overview of something that I thought you might find uh, interesting and appealing. Um, this is a book that I've had on my uh, bookcase in my collection uh, for quite a while. Um, it's the Psalms of David with Illuminations by James S. Uh, Fremantle. You may have seen this before, I don't know. Uh, it is available new from Amazon. There is the ISBN should you care to uh, take a look at it. But what this book is, it is basically the Psalms of David uh, in pictorial um, illustrative form basically. So this man over the course of 30 years uh, reproduced and interpreted the Psalms by hand uh, and you can see examples of some of the artwork on the dust jacket here. Uh, here's a taste of what you will get uh, inside. So each Psalm has a bit of a theme to it and he took the time to illustrate this book. It was basically produced over the course of 30 years in India uh, from 1904 till 1934, kind of dedicated and devoted to his uh, his wife, which I thought was really quite um, quite romantic and quite uh, quite nice for him to do that. Um, so the artwork that's in here is very much uh, influenced by the by this man, uh, his surroundings in India. Uh, he died in thirty four, which was the year that he finished this book, um, and it really is a a labour of love and a real work of art. So I thought maybe we'd uh, take a look at this today. Um, so here we have the the dedication to his uh, his wife Clara, um, and it really does set the set the tone for the book. You can see these magnificent uh, illustrations, lots of butterflies, lots of beautiful flowers, lots of birds pictured in this volume. And so he starts, of course, at Psalm 1, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Um, I think it is taken from the King James Version. Here we see a tree. Um, I suppose this is borrowing from the, the words, he should be like a tree planted um, uh, by the river. And, uh, and you can see the amazing lettering um, on, this, on these psalms. You know, it's got a very distinctive style uh, to it. Each psalm has a kind of decorative uh, title, decorative header. He, um, he does actually put the, the sort of breakdown and the, the preface to the psalm on each of uh, the psalms there. And uh, some of the artwork in here is absolutely beautiful. So we've got a couple of... Uh, partridges or something there and we've got a little church building here and the colours are so vibrant and beautiful uh, and colourful um, and you know we could look at some uh, I mean that that's really nice at the bottom there you could look at some of these uh, illustrations and just uh, you know stare at them in detail for for quite some time they really are beautiful and I love the way that he you know takes the time to emphasize some of the words in in the psalm you know um, really really nice uh, piece of work so I mean if we were to go to uh, Psalm 23 for example I mean there's a full a full page illustration there of some beautiful orchids or something like that um, then we've got uh, Psalm 22 and oh, my God my God why hast thou forsaken me a lot of these psalms being messianic, of course. And then we have Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. And here we have the, the shepherd with his uh, sheep there. And uh, it's an absolutely beautiful work of art, this book is. It's one of those books that, you know, maybe you wouldn't read it. You'd spend some some time in the evening just browsing this book. It's a real sort of coffee table book, I would think, you know, a real talking point for people when they come into your house, you know, they could, or it would make a perfect gift, wouldn't it? A perfect Christmas uh, gift just to share this beautiful artwork and this this lovely illustrated, um, illustrated edition. There you have uh, Psalm 27 there. Absolutely beautiful illustrations. And I, I love some of these these detailed cities that he that he draws. Um, they really are really are very nice. This one I like. This one. This is sort of a citadel, like a castle. Uh, really, really nice. And then if you go to uh, Psalm 119, for example, as we flick through this uh, this edition, 
we've got uh, da, 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 da. let's find it oh wow look at that one I really like that one that's almost like a uh, sort of an iceberg jutting out of the sea there wow that's really fantastic um, yeah if we were to go to Psalm there's Psalm 108 this is testing your knowledge of Roman numerals isn't it um, Psalm 119 there we go so each stanza if you like Psalm 119 the longest psalm um, is split up like that less illustrations on this but you know this is the psalm of the word of God I suppose so in many ways there's bound to be less illustrations on here that's really nice some of them are done in more muted muted colors but nevertheless it's it's just absolutely stunning thing to flick through and to look through and if you were looking at the psalms I imagine this would be quite a uh, a nice thing to meditate on as you as you read it you know you're looking at the beautiful thought-provoking illustrations and also reading the Word of God it's just absolutely uh, absolutely stunning some of these flowers might mean more to other people than than they mean to me you may recognize some of them but they really are beautiful absolutely beautiful so yeah if you like the look of that you might check it out um, a lovely nice volume a great to uh, gift to somebody or if you just like illustrations and beautiful artwork what better um, thing to get than some beautiful artwork that is all based around the Word of God so I hope you found that interesting and uh, valuable we just uh, we'll just catch up on another video soon and I hope you're all well God bless bye